Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. It is a Sunday vlog and Ryan and I are gonna go to the farmer's market here in Austin. It's in Mueller and recently, well, I guess not too recently, but they switched like the location because they actually made this whole building for the farmer's market. It used to be outside and when we go in the summer times, it was so hot, like we loved it, but it was like really, really hot and like kind of unbearable, especially for Sophie who's coming with us and she has her pink sweater on. <laughs> also, there's a farmer's market at the beach that we usually go to like Rosemary Beach and my dad showed me these like king, king trumpet mushrooms. I don't know why I always call them like oyster mushrooms. King trumpet mushrooms, right? We're gonna try to see if this farmer's market actually has it because I remember my mom buying like some mushroom kit at this farmer's market. So I was like, <laughs> do you remember that? I vlogged it. I know there's a mushroom guy. I just can't remember if he had like other mushrooms, like edible mushrooms. So anyways, we're gonna go see. It's 54 degrees out. So I got my aloe set on. The color is cocoa, I believe. Shop Ace at the Beach hat, literally one of my favorite trucker hats. I have my little Austin tote bag. I got this at Madewell Men's. Ryan was shopping there on South Congress and I loved this tote bag that they gave us. This farmer's market is in the Mueller area and if money was no object, and there was obviously like houses to buy. I would definitely buy a house here. It's just such a cute area for someone that's like a young adult. Um, and it's just a really nice area too. Like you can walk around with your dog and I don't know, I just love this area so, so much. And it's basically like all townhouses pretty much. And they are so expensive. I mean, like if you live in Austin, you you know this already, a random house that's like maybe 500 square feet can go up to like $700,000. You're pretty much just buying like the land it sits on because um, everyone just wants to live in the city of Austin, obviously, same as me. But also like everywhere else in Austin, it is like pretty much impossible to find something that's actually available here in Mueller. But never say never, it's definitely a dream to live here and it's still being developed. Like there's still so much land over here. So I mean, there's a lot of apartments going up, but if I were to live here, I'd probably want to live in a house. Yeah, I mean, the, there's not really houses, it's like townhouses. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I meant. You can live across the street over here. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been over there. The houses are like, like falling. Oh, I don't think you can pick it out here. Um, yeah. They're like falling apart and they're like a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I also love Sundays in Austin because all street parking is free. You only have to pay Monday through Saturday. And only after like before 7 p.m. too, I think. What? It's only before 7 p.m. too. And on weekdays. Huh. After 7, it's all free, I think. Really? Yeah. It's interesting. Kolachi. Sausage and cheese. Let's see. Oh, two. A half of a hot dog. <laughs> kind of cold, too. Oh, yeah, I think mine's cold. Okay, well, I got a cinnamon roll. And lemon, right? And then Adventure Bowls is the new one, right? With caramel and chocolate. And Happy Boy with his tagalongs. <laughs> Peanut butter patties, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, they like have all different names here, I guess. There they are. Okay, so these are like some of the townhouses I was talking about. This is so pretty. It has like such a big yard and all of these houses. I guess they're not townhouses, these ones at least. These are all really cute and actually kind of big. But most of Mueller, I would say, is townhouses. I played golf with a guy. He said he bought, a ha I guess Grandpa bought a house in Mueller like a long time ago, and then he ended up buying another one. And uh, he said he paid like $185,000 for it or something a long time ago. Which I guess maybe a long time ago. That was probably a lot still, but. Uh, I mean, I think my house in Roswell, they paid like 110 for in the 80s, in 1985, which is 45 years ago or something. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? 
the mouths to work much more, but... <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we went to the farmer's market, obviously, to go to the farmer's market and to get out of the house, but we really wanted those freaking king oyster... No, king trumpet mushrooms. And also, I asked the guy, I was like, what's the difference between an oyster mushroom and a trumpet mushroom? Because I've kind of, like, seen them together. I don't know. I just get confused with them. He said... Wait, which ones did he say? The pearl ones were more similar to the trumpet um, black, oysters. Black or, yeah, black trumpet what? mushrooms. So black hybrid, pearl. Black. The... Okay, yeah, he said it was a hybrid. Stalks or the stems or whatever you call it, but a mushroom. They were really thin and like a trumpet mushroom is like this thick and you just cut them up and they're almost like scallops, but not, I don't even know how to describe them, but basically like if we saute them with butter and salt and just like, so almost like a steak seasoning. It's pretty much remodeled. Oh though. dang, yeah. These are nicer houses. I wonder how much these are. We love like going through neighborhoods and looking it up on Zillow. Zillow. Wait, actually, can you slow down? I'm kind of curious. Let's see. On Zillow, you just tap this arrow right here. So these are last sold prices on Zillow. Okay, so the one right next to us is like 891K. But all of these are ranches, so they probably are pretty big inside, you know? 600K, 621K. Let me show you guys what they look like. Honestly, these are a little bit smaller houses, but they are probably the nicer houses here in Austin. Or just like, or the nicer, smaller ones, if that makes sense. The Lake Austin, like Terrytown houses, are all about like this size. Yeah. Well, but those are a lot more yardage, and they're like yeah, yeah. millions. Yeah. Sophie, which That's one do you like? <laughs> That house is actually for sale right now. <laughs> Everyone's waiting to see it. It's actually really cute. As I was saying about these trumpet mushrooms that I've been literally craving for so long, we're gonna go to Central Market and see if they have them over there. Wow, look how beautiful this is. So apparently it does say King Trumpet and King Oyster, so maybe that's why I was getting confused this whole time. But these are them. I really love it here. I think I'm gonna shop here from now on. No, I'm kidding. I probably can't afford it. <laughs> but I got king like 50 oyster, of wait, cheese king cheese. mushrooms. My god, I swear to god. If I call them that one more time. And then lychees. My grandma used to buy me like a cup full of lychees every time I went to go to California and still does when I go. So I got some and now we're just like looking around because there's so many fun snacks. So hopefully we don't buy anything else because it's probably going to be expensive. But yeah. Look how beautiful all this bread is. I can't stop staring at it. Do I get it or do I not? <laughs> if, if you watched my last vlog, you would know. But this looks amazing. I didn't even know they had it like readily available. But I guess it's not that cheap either. $12.49. Oh wow, that's so pretty and big and like actually fluffy. They're so pretty. Since we are up north, <laughs> I wanted to. Are we not up north? <laughs> let's go to H Mart while we're We up. are literally. Yeah, let's go down. to H, H Mart. I think I said that in my last vlog. I can't remember. Um, but we are north, right? Yeah, we are, yeah. Well, north ish. That's what I thought. Anyways, I was thinking, let's just stop by Precision Camera. Let's make it a day. So we are here. I'm going to go in and check out a new lens. <laughs> I'm always like looking into like what's next, what's the best, which is honestly a toxic trait, but I love like just quality vlogs and just like, you know, I'm a photographer too. Um, but this next lens that I'm looking at would be for my vlogs. Um, so I'm gonna see if they have it in stock and if I could like try it out on my camera. unfortunately get to test out the lens because the one that they had was not for my specific like mount of camera um so we didn't get to try it out but he kind of like put my mind to rest on that lens because first of all it was heavy as shit and like once you start getting into the lower apertures and like fixed lenses they're usually heavier um so it was really really heavy i was like there's no way i could vlog he was like pulling it out i was like nope it's not happening and then he also said that the lens i have right now which is the 17 to 20 what's it called 28 millimeters from tamron is like one of the best lenses to vlog with for like this camera setup just because 
it's kind of more lightweight and it has the zoom and you know it does give like a little bit of a blurry background but I just hope in the near future that they are able to like figure out the technology that they can have like a zoom lens and lower aperture and lightweight which I don't even know if they can if it's possible but anyways so I'm glad we checked it out just to you know see it in person and talk to someone else I feel like whenever I'm like questioning something about a camera my first instinct is to walk into the camera store and get like multiple people's opinions on it instead of like actually just watching YouTube videos because I just like to hear people's opinions and I like to get sold on stuff like I just I don't know why that's just how I am <laughs> This taco truck was at our apartment complex, so we got some birria tacos. Birria tacos came with three, so I only had one, and I want more. They were actually so good. I've had birria tacos before, and I wasn't like impressed. Like They always looked so good, but I wasn't impressed. But that place, Pepe's Tacos, I guess, is amazing. They just pulled up to our apartment complex, so that's why we like even stopped. But I wonder if there's like a specific place that they always are. I need to find out because they were so good. We've been home for a bit and now we are going to Lucky Robot on South Congress. We've actually never been there even though I feel like it was definitely a well-recommended place to go right when we moved here. But I feel like ever since then there's been many sushi places that have been popping up. So we've never been and I always know that we need like a little bit of sushi every weekend or like every week at least. So I made this reservation a while ago, but I just opened up my ASOS package and I need to show you guys this coat because it's actually really funny. I mean, like I wanted a belted coat, but I literally look like a straight up marshmallow. My huge marshmallow coat. I love it, but I'm just like, am I gonna be way too dramatic if I wear this? on South Congress right now, probably because it's like not that cold outside. I'm very excited to style this because I feel like it's just so cool. Definitely from the side and the back, I look like a marshmallow, but I'm fine with that, especially if it's cold outside, like I need to be comfortable. We did a little pickup around here, kind of cleaned, put away stuff. I always say to Ryan, we need to get the house Monday ready. And that means when I wake up on Monday, I don't want to feel like I have to spend time cleaning. I'd rather just like go do my workout or get straight to work, so that is why we try to do like a little pickup on Sundays. Do you want some sushi? You're not allowed to come. She's probably pooped from today. She came with us for all those errands this morning. Are you pooped, Sophie? Are you pooped, Sophie? bar to watch the game because Sonali saw it. And I feel like she always stumbles upon watching like history or games. Yeah. Brady would have won that. That would have been like the largest point deficit. And he would have gotten to the champion. Well, he would have to play one more game to get the Super Bowl, but still that would have been a big game. And now Matthew Stafford won his what was going to the first AFC championship. on Lucky Robot. It was actually really good. Four out of five. Oh, I thought you were gonna say four out of 10. Oh, like, yeah. damn. <laughs> I think one of the rolls, oh yeah. There's this hat in here that screams me. Look at this. It says Hetty, it's Sherpa, and Tan. Like, I literally need that. Oh my gosh, how cute. I literally need that hat though. We ended up coming in. They have like so many tracker hats. $60. Is it worth it, y'all? Is this worth $60? How cute is this? Oh, it says bananas. <laughs> I don't really wear black anymore, but that's cute. I love this, though. What do you think, Ryan? Should I do it? I think I have to get it. It's so cute. I love it. And I wear my other tan trucker hat, like, all the time. I love it. $60, I don't know, but if I wear it a lot, then I will justify it. Mm -hmm. 
I had to do it and got the hat. It was so cute. Ryan was just saying if I wore like a lazy outfit and put that hat on, it would like make me look really cool and put together. So I was like, all right, sold. <laughs> I haven't made like a meal plan or anything yet, but I want to get avocados because I don't have any breakfast foods except for a smoothie and I still have like leftover bread. Are we going to regret this 7 p.m. on a Sunday? <laughs> Probably because yeah, the parking lot. Avocados, not I know, but like the, the, I told you this self checkout line that one random weekday night was crazy. Yeah. Actually, the parking lot doesn't look that bad. All right, going to run in, get these avocados and run out and get nothing else. Avocado. <laughs> what? You've seen avocado? No, avocado. I thought you were saying av. No. <laughs> We're back home and I thought I would end this vlog here. I'm about to take my makeup off and get into my cozy PJs. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this Sunday in Austin. I feel like I did a lot of Austin things, which is fun. I know a lot of you guys like the Austin content and there will definitely be more coming. And I just posted a week in my life. So if you guys are not subscribed, I post week in my life every single Sunday and they're really long vlogs and I'm trying to make them a lot more aesthetic too and like take my time on my B-roll because that is just so exciting to me too. I'm very into like videography, photography, you name it. So definitely go ahead and subscribe and if you guys aren't following me on instagram and tiktok go ahead and do that too it is so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in my next video bye